Excelentíssimos senhores representantes das Nações Unidas, excelentíssimos senhores ministros e ministras da Educação presente nesta cimeira, minhas senhoras e meus ministros present in the room today, distinguished delegates. First of all, I would like to extend my thanks to all of you, and in particular to UNESCO, for having invited Santo Tome and Principe to actually participate in this very important pre-summit. Santo Tome e Principe considers that education is a fundamental right for every citizen, and education is a tool enabling us to develop the human uh, capital which, is, which we need to face up to the challenges of recent times. So, providing excellent level education is really a basic condition if we want to ensure that we have employment and that we are competitive in our active lives and to make sure that we can develop a fairer society where we have equality for all. In past years, we have seen improvements in education in quantitative terms. We have the education system in San Tome and Principe was uh, modified very recently with the uh, passing of a new education law in 1998, which made it obligatory for us to provide uh, 11 years of education, which is uh, two years of um, preschool education and nine years of basic education. Before, our, our, our government worked with uh, the, the, the development agencies, agencies and achieved to get a lot of, inf of funding for basic education and secondary education. In order to provide universal uh, education, we've been able to. We had to e expand upon the number of classrooms and institutions that we had in the country. We are situated in the Gulf of Guinea. We have two islands. It's the second smallest uh, country in Africa, with w just over 1,000 square kilometers, and. 137,000 um, uh, inhabitants in the 2012 uh, census. Now, despite the small size of our country, we've had to deal with issues such as inclusion, equality, and fair access. This is why we've had to fight to ensure that we are able to provide high quality teaching at all levels. We've had to work on properly educating and training teachers. We've had to develop our school manuals, our school textbooks, and also ensure that we had um, access to education for the most vulnerable uh, members of society and that they stayed at school. Our, uh, our uh, country is very open for a debate on education at all levels. So, ladies and gentlemen, this summit on transforming education, which we held on the 17th of June in San Tome and Principe, enabled us to work at home to work out concepts and principles uh, on which to base our transformation of education. We're going to continue with local consultations organized at local level with different interest groups to work to, uh, towards a uh, real transformation. We've also had meetings with at ministerial levels level uh, when the with the, the past Minister for Education and uh, other ministers uh, to focus on the future of education in our country. We involved civil society as well in the uh, development section, civil society, trade unions. And on the 4th, we had a meeting with the young people and adolescents in our country. And uh, we also had a meeting with the young uh, uh, parliament and uh, youth centres. Uh, on the 5th, we had a general consultation with all players, all stakeholders who were involved in our education debate, and we developed recommendations. So, 
ministers, I do hope. So I hope that you can you can keep to the three minutes that we allocated. Para as vias de ação propostas pelas Nações Unidas, Santo Mei Príncipe. As far as the UN's action points are concerned, Santo Mei and Príncipe has agreed uh, agrees with all of the challenges that have been identified and we have been uh, we have started negotiating with stakeholders at home on how we can develop how we can uh, we can make progress in these areas we want to strengthen the uh, access for the more vulnerable to education and we want to ensure that the community works together to ensure that we are able to bring about social change and in keeping with what we discussed in the, uh, the summit, I'm going to actually reach my conclusions. We want to see inclusive education, social support. We want high quality education. We want qu communication. We want to link together the family, the school and the community. And for all of these reasons, San Tome and, uh, and Principi really wants to fight for a transformation of education, working along with the Minister of Finances. Uh, and the social security sector as well. We want to also involve stakeholders from justice and, and uh, infrastructure. We want to ensure that we have social justice so that we are able to develop a national plan for education, for future education, giving priority to the need for internal and external investment in high quality education to make sure that we're able to uh, provide also uh, investment in uh, sport and education at the school and make sure it is inclusive so that we're able to also uh, appreciate the, the work of the teachers in our country and make sure that we are able to provide the correct response to the, uh, the education sector and higher education sector. We need to work on policies to enable us to uh, make sure that we're able to provide contracts for the uh, within the education system we want to make sure that we have are able to provide subsidies or grants as well we want to make sure that our schools are properly managed we want to create legal instruments to make sure that uh, uh, education is depoliticized we need to have preventive policies to ensure that we can avoid uh, early pregnancies through a, a program of professional orientation and psychological support within the school system we also need to have a sexual education section of protective health education within the school so that we can have provide a better response to the cases of uh, abuse within the school system and within society there are other issues that i don't want i haven't got time to present today but thank you very much for your attention